Hey guys, so today I have the Black Series Titanium Diecast Helmets. Um, again, this is number three in this series, which means that it's the first one in the new series. And these are some that, when I saw they were coming out, they just looked really cool, and you can't really pass up the classics, which is why I wanted to get them, because the other two series, the other two um, sets that came out previously were both for The Force Awakens, as well as the... Um, the fourth one that's that came out with this one so this is the only like classic one that they have right now but I think this is a really cool idea um especially for people who've always really liked helmets and whatnot and I I'm one of those people I think and um they are not super expensive for having a um pretty nice little collector's piece so before we begin I do want to start with the packaging here um this is just the same as the older one, I do believe. Um, it just says Titanium Series right there, and you have Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper, just the picture. Um, on the side, you have Darth Vader, and on, on the back, it says number three. You've got their helmet pictures again, as well as a little bitty description. They look like huge descriptions, but they're just in multiple languages. And then on the side, it just says number three. So I believe that these guys were $14.99. Um, now, most of most of them are um, full metal. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start. I'm, I'm going to start with a Stormtrooper here. Um, and I know that these stands, they can come off. They just snap out. Um, I didn't know that in my previous video. So I was like, oh, you can get Poe's X-Wing helmet off, but you can't get... Um, uh, you can't get Kylo Ren's off. So anyways, they do come off, and there's there's not much to see in there. Just, it's all black. Um, they don't really have any... It would be cool if they were detailed, um, but they're not. They do have the little, like, sealant lip, though, so that's good. But, I mean, this guy's got pretty good detail for, I guess, as plain of a helmet as it is. Um, it is all metal, for the most part. There are some plastic pieces inside, but um, the paint applications are super clean, as you can tell. So, it does look really good. super shiny so he is really cool and you just snap that stand back on inside um, and then it just says Star Wars in clear so um, and then next we have Darth Vader and um, he was actually a bit of a surprising one for me as it turns out his helmet the, the top um, half is all metal and the bottom half is light plastic so um, but this one does have a really cool feature which makes up for it and you can kinda see it on the edge here but the helmet comes apart just like that and you have all of the details of Darth Vader's the inside which is really cool now this this plastic is so light it might fly away if you don't hold it down so um, which is I think it's kind of annoying that they did a full metal um, cover for the helmet and then this part is light plastic it would have been so much cooler if they were both plastic um, but the effect is still good. You still get kind of the matte finish around Darth Vader's face. And I think it's really well detailed still. Just super, super cool. So um, if it wasn't plastic like it is, I might just display it like that. But I think they look better together with it since it is plastic. So um, again, the helmet actually doesn't, or the top part of the helmet, doesn't really snap together it kind of just sits on there um it's got a little bit but it's not very secure so don't be like waving it around but I mean it stays for the most part I wish that it kind of came forward a little bit so you kind of have a gap between the brows but it's still pretty cool and these guys are super awesome um the articulation on the stand is virtually none for Darth Vader just because of the neck piece that comes down um inhibits the movement but the stormtrooper can move and it's like really good um, sat next to my other two, and I hope to get the other ones now. I'm I'm more um, um, persuaded to get the other set because I think that you know if you have enough, they just kind of start to look really cool together. So, anyways, that was um, this review. There's not a whole lot to say on these guys, um, but they look really cool, and they are made of metal, and they're black series. So usually the stuff from the black series is a higher quality, not always. Um, but these guys were pretty good. My only complaint really is that I wish Darth Vader's, um, the inner part of his he helmet was metal and that the Stormtrooper maybe had some detailing inside because he's just not as cool as Darth Vader um, because he's got that detailing once you take off the top part of the helmet. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will have more reviews to come.